Hi friends, it's Miss Kenny. We've been turning our thoughts about Project 2 for others, and I wanted to share with you a tip I've been using for my project thinking. I've mentioned to some of you, but maybe not all, that my project topic is Rachel Carson, a famous ocean scientist and author. I've been reading her books and learning about her, absorbing as much as I can, but for this I'm going to put the books here to the side and turn my train of thought to how to organize and share what I think are some of the most important or essential parts of what I've learned in, in kind of a fun way. I was inspired by our treetop restaurant planning and the mud pie recipes some of you have been making at home. I found this recipe card with a list of ingredients or the things you need to make the food. And also, if you look here, and then it continues on to the back, instructions for how to put the ingredients together in a way that makes sense. I thought, now this is kind of crazy, but I thought, well, couldn't I make a recipe for my project topic? What pieces are needed to share important information about Rachel Carson and how could I put them together? So I played with that idea and I started writing my own, my own Rachel Carson recipe. Um, I got goofy with the name the name of the dish, and, and you certainly could too. Uh, here I have Rachel Carson ravioli. I really liked how the er sound in Rachel matched the er sound in ravioli. Here's what I've got so far. So in terms of the list of ingredients I have, one ocean, because that's what she, she's, you know, she spent a lot of time studying, two coasts, and there I have my where, plugging in little pieces of the who, what, where, when, why, those question words that help us. The where is Maine and North Carolina. Those are two places that were really special to her and to her studies and that she wrote a lot about, so I wanted to make sure I included them here. Um, a school of fish, because she studied all the life in the sea. So here it doesn't just say say fish, but it has the units. It has a school of fish. and. Um, and this is something you, you find in some recipes is that it gives you an option for things that you could use in addition to or instead of fish. And so because she studied everything in the ocean, I have here you could add or substitute crabs, snails, jellyfish, birds, seaweed, and other sea life. And as usual, I added some doodles here for um, because you can also read the pictures. Um, 56 years of looking closely. A pair of binoculars here. She spent her whole life observing, noticing, noting, and wondering about the world around her. A half a cup of science and a half a cup of poetry. Rachel Carson was a writer, and she was really well known for writing about science in a really poetic way. That was that was unique to that time and, and is something that's been really inspiring for a lot of people since. So kind of this, this half and half of science and poetry for her writing. And then here, one gallon of collaboration. So she didn't only just look at the world around her. She also wanted to learn from other people who looked really closely at the world. So here is my list of ingredients. These are some of the important facts that I wanted to share about my project. This might be all you want to do for now. But in case you're interested in doing more now or eventually, I wanted to share how I would put these ingredients together. Just like, just like this recipe here where it has the ingredients and then it has the instructions. I have my ingredients and on the back, I wrote the instructions to share more about what is so important that I wanted to share about Rachel Carson. So here I have first, you take ocean and you add the coasts and the fish, or the fish substitutes. Two, spend 56 years looking closely at nature. That's how long she spent taking in all of these first ingredients that are all mixed together here. Three, learn from scientists or others, other researchers. Four, write about it with half poetry and half science, that beautiful mixture that makes her language to reading it is is really really enjoyable because of the the style of her writing her voice and then five 
is the last little bit here. You'll see on this original recipe card that the last thing that it says is serve warm. You also have a little bit of information up here that tells you how many people it can serve. So that's in cursive that says serves. And this recipe for banana muffins is for 12 people. I wanted to kind of include that here, that idea here in this recipe by saying five, serve to the world because that is just what Rachel Carson did. She wanted to share everything that she knew in her writing with the rest of the world and lots of people have read and learned from her just like me. So this is just one fun way to explore your project topic ideas. Be creative with it, make it your own recipe, but stay true to the important things you want to share about your own topic. I can't wait to see what you all cook up.